Hey guys! So, I'm back. I know it's been a while, but I wanted to share some revelation that I got um, regarding my dream with the... and how that it is very dangerous. Um, so, I'm going to recap with the dream again because in the, I, I'm going to show with the dream God is showing me things that I missed that didn't kind of quite get that's kind of making me think that this is or could be the mark um and i i'm not don't don't hate me for it i can be wrong i don't care but would you take that chance no come on get smart do you want to take that chance even if it is or not i mean no because this is really 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 dangerous okay so with my dream I saw an amusement park. The amusement park looked happy. There was colors. There was balloons. Kids, um, parents, you know, happy. Look happy. I was being followed. These people saved me. They gave me this piece of paper. Now, I'm trying to get away. Now, as soon as I got outside and I saw the amusement park again, it was like a filter was off of my eyes. I could see what it was really like, what it really looked like now, like what it that was like something like a blinder on. Like I feel like God was really showing me what's really deep, okay, behind taking this and how it's going to change people. Now, I got into where there was an arcade and this there was two teenagers to my left and I could see them. They look like normal teenage guys. They but their skin was colored it was as though like a gray green like almost alien skin kind of looking color um and he had when you scan the piece of paper it tells you do you want to pay this amount or no to play the game now he goes to one of the games that i was going to go look at and he ends up scanning his piece of paper thing and he looks at me he says why are the human games so expensive i'm going to go back to my games now this is where it hit me. When he said, why are these human games so expensive? Meaning he's no longer human. And he can't see me that I am still human. Because I had that piece of paper. I knew I was still human. I knew that I was different because I was still being followed. But they, but as soon as I had that, it was like people, they didn't know that I didn't look like them. But I could see them that with this with that piece of paper and that's before I even knew they were giving pieces of papers out so you can look at that dream where I so I didn't know that they were giving pieces of papers out with that now that he, he said human games now this is why I believe that this is much deeper and why I believe it could be the mark okay um he said in Genesis 1 26 and God said let us make man in our our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish and of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and every creeping thing that liveth creepeth upon the earth the part I want you to think about is let us make man in our image we are God's creation okay now with this it's changing people's DNA because it's taking a modified RNA that is a, what we have in our DNA, taking that piece out and putting it what they want into our DNA. Therefore, our DNA is being transformed. We are no longer human. So that's what God was saying is with, that's why he looked different. We, everybody will look on the outside but he, on the inside they are really different they no longer have the God gene they no longer God does not recognize them as his creation okay that's what's the biggest mind blow right there because it has a Lucifer race protein okay so come on it's much deeper and why I believe also where I think this is the mark yes it says the mark will be in the forehead and the right hand Okay, just kind of hear me out a little bit because this is kind of just kind of like our head is what drives us. We face a direction, that's where direction we go to, right? People 
are in the direction for this, okay? They have their mind on something. Now, they have a choice. They can do it, the right hand, or not. They do it or not, because people are having choices. You wanna work? You can't. You need it? You don't, okay? Same thing, people want to buy things, go places, you need it, you don't. They're making choices. Now, who is the, the lowercase g of this world? Satan. Now, people who want to continue, like, wanting a part of this world, where it's, you want to go party, you're going to take it. You want to go and, and go travel, you're going to take it. They are still making this God, this, this, this world their God. You understand? So they're making a choice. See? So that's why I believe they're choosing their God. They're choosing the God of this world by choosing what the things of this world. And it says to not make any idol before God. Don't have any other God before Him. So people are making this world their God. And who's the, the lowercase of this, of this world? Satan. So that's why I believe that this is much deeper. People are making decisions to do this. And when they're, and I'm sorry, there's things popping up about people are dying from it. They're still going ahead and taking it. The people are having like these um, magnets and coins stick to their arm. Hello, and every single person I've seen see that happen to themselves, I would be like freaking out. They're thinking it's cool, funny, wow, haha. -ha. Excuse you? Like, hello? Did you lose it up here? Do you understand? They are, they are no longer human. They are no longer God's creation. As soon as you take this, there, it gets rid of your genome. It gets rid of your God gene. What makes you feel God? What makes you His creation? What makes you able to get, like, to feel God? You know, and people, I've heard like people say when they got it they can't feel God who they but there was not their God that there was their God not my God you know Jesus you know but I'm like they're losing and they but the thing is is I'm like there's pastors taking it there's people in the church taking it and they're saying everything's fine Satan is influenced these churches churches are ex like are accepting things they shouldn't be accepting. They're they're like making they're like leading their congregation straight to hell. They're not preaching about the end times. They're not preaching about people get saved, get your life straight right now. Jesus is coming. The rapture is gonna be coming very, very soon. I truly, truly believe it. We're going home. Body of Christ, we are going home. We our high groom is coming for us. Okay, we need to continue telling people, Jesus is coming, get straight, you need to accept Jesus, stop wanting to sin, stop wanting this world, it's not going to get you anywhere, Just being in this world, it's not going to get you anywhere, it's going to lead you straight to hell, and hell, yeah, it's not a party place, it's not somewhere where you're going to be partying, and doing drugs, and going ahead, and, and having fun, and doing whatever you want to do, that, no, you are going to be burning forever, gnashing of teeth, Ugh, the pain you've never felt before. When somebody, uh, hell is a real place, guys. And it was not designed for us, but it's people's choices. It's all coming down to a choice, guys. You're seeing it more and more. You're not able to go shopping without it. You're not able to go into to into restaurants without it you're not there there's businesses who are not allowing anybody and they're then they're asking hey do you have it or not oh and i don't want you here what do you and there's people coming against the body of christ they're telling that we are the haters we are the problem this is going on guys we are not the problem we are praying for you guys. We are trying to show you the light, the truth, the way, and that's through Jesus Christ. 
who died on that cross for your sins, past, present, and future. It was done. It was finished for you because he loves you and he rose from the grave and he conquered death. And he, now if you live in him, you are alive in him. You are no longer a dead body anymore. You have a living soul. You have, a, you have the Holy Spirit implanted inside of you. You are no longer dead. You are a new creation in Christ. You are you are dead to those sins, and he sees them no longer. He has washed you with the blood of Christ. That's what we're trying to show you. That's what we're trying to show you, the love of God, and that he loves you, and he's warning you. He's warning you. He's warning you that he is coming, and people are not ready. I'm shaking. I'm really passionate about this, guys. He's coming, and people are not ready because they are so focused about the things of this world, you are not going to be ready. And when we are gone, when he takes this bride home, when he takes the Christians, the real true followers of Christ, the ones who hear his voice, my sheep hear my voice, that's what he says, yes, my sheep hear my voice. And when we are gone and his hand is lifted from holding things back, this world is not gonna be what you asked for. It's not going to be what you think. It's not going to be all fun. Things are going to get a lot worse than you think now. It's time to get saved right now. And do not, do not, do not. You hold on. You keep your eyes on God. Repent now and say, God, I want you as my, as my Lord and Savior. Thank you for dying on that cross for my sins. Thank you for loving me enough. Thank you for setting me free. Thank you for lifting up this bondage of sin and rejection and, and pain from my, from my soul, God, and setting me free and making me a new creature in Christ. Thank you, God, and give your life to him. Stay there. He, he's got you wrapped around in his arms. He has you in the palm of his hands. He loves you. He cares about you. That's Jesus. He is a righteous God. He is a just God. He's not playing games here. He's not playing games here. It's really time to get this serious. Get serious. Because our time is almost up. And you know, you're not seeing this on our newses. But Israel and everything's going against Israel. And that's Bible prophecy. There's things going on that everybody is not even aware of. But it's Bible prophecy is fulfilling and unfolding before our eyes, guys. We're going home. Keep the faith. I love you all. And if you, if you want God to show up, you want him to prove himself to you, I know he will. Because he's done it for me. God is real. He loves you. And I, I know that you can feel him tugging on your heart right now. People are praying for you. Mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, aunts, uncles. There's people praying for you. Even people who you don't even know. God loves you. I love you guys. Be blessed. Okay your eyes on the sky. We're going home soon.